time clauses. Talking about the present. Asterisk for actions which happen regularly, use a present tense in both clauses. As soon as, while, before and present and present. As soon as I wake up, I switch on the radio. I always have breakfast before I leave for school. I talk to my mother while I eat. Or while I am eating. Present in negative and till, until and present. We don't go into school until the bell rings. Talking about the future. When you see a future tense in the main clause, use a present tense in the time clause. Future and as soon as, before, after, when, until and present. As soon as, before, after, when and present and future. I'll phone you as soon as I arrive. He won't have any money until he finds a job. Jane will say goodbye before she leaves. When Sam leaves school, he will go to university. When you use an imperative in the main clause, use a present tense in the time clause. Take off your shoes before you come in. Don't start writing until you have permission. Talking about the past. For regular actions in the past, use the past simple in both clauses. While and past simple and past simple. While Maggio studied, her mother sat knitting. For two actions happening at the same time, use the past. Continuous in both clauses. While and past continuous and past continuous. Yesterday while Anne was sleeping, her mother was preparing a surprise. For a long action interrupted by a sudden action, use the past continuous and the past simple. Past simple and while and past continuous. A honey, seller came to the house while Maggio was studying. While Maggio was studying, a honey, seller came to the house. When one action finishes before another happens, use the past perfect and the past simple. After and past perfect and past simple. After she had eaten the pudding, she went to her room. Negative past simple and till, until and past perfect. Maggio's mother wasn't happy until her daughter had eaten the cake. Using auxiliary verbs to show agreement. Agreeing with affirmative statements. So and auxiliary verb, modal verb and subject. A. I am hungry. B. So am I. So is Fred. So are they. A. I'll walk. B. So will I. So will Med. So will we. A. Uh, he's finished. B. So have I. So has she. So have they. A. Uh, Joe can swim. B. So can I. So can Lily. So can you. Agreeing with negative statements. Nor forward slash neither and auxiliary verb. Modal verb and subject. A. Uh, ben isn't well. B. Nor am I. Neither are you. A. Uh, I don't like winter. B. Neither do I. Nor does Med. A. Uh, Adele didn't sleep. B. Nor did we. Neither did Hanny. A. Uh, they won't help. B. Neither will he. Nor will I. I haven't seen it. B. Nor has Lucy. Neither have I. A. Uh, Jack mustn't go. B. Neither must you. Nor must Pat. Note. If there's no an auxiliary verb or a modal verb we use, do, does, did. They come early. So do I. Ali gets up early. So does Salma. She ate pizza. So did I. The verb is always in affirmative form in both affirmative and negative. She is tall, so am I. 
She isn't tall, neither am I.